So here we just got to where we're gonna be camping. I shoveled the fire pit out a little bit. Put some more rocks around it. We got the trailer here. Gonna level it up real quick. Picked up a nice cut log on the way. Got me some wood. Should definitely be able to get a decent fire going tonight. So about three minutes later, we got our tent flipped out. Now I'm gonna work on getting this fire started. Now we had some rain, but hopefully this will start easy. Starting it the way my grandparents did. Absolutely just pure luck. Oh shit. Well, the fire took off pretty quick. Got some of my boards. I'm gonna try to get some big logs started. Like to have a real smoky, slow fire till it gets dark. Here we go. Good smoky fire. Not a bug around. Try to roll like that. See if I can't get these logs to dry out. That way they'll burn good tonight. Kind of going to get it started and see what we can get going. Like it to smoke like this all the way up till dark and dry them logs out. I got a suspicion this one's going to be my all night burner right there. And I can just add shit to it. And we got how to get camp set up a little bit. It's going pretty quick. GBL something six. But this is the camper. We'll show this to you here in a little bit. We got it. We got her decked up. Look at all that smoke. Going around everywhere. It's nice because there's a lot of them. No seams. And little pain in the ass bugs when we first got here. But it's smoldering around. Pretty nice campsite here. This is 31B off Paint Creek. Here in East Tennessee, if anybody wants to go, it's about a seven mile ride, three and a half up the mountain, three and a half down here. Pretty easy road, you can do it two-wheel drive. Feed the hound. I think we're gonna cook some tacos tonight. So here's my switch panel I put on. Here's my power plug for the tent. There's a little light we're gonna go ahead and charge if we probably won't need it. But right here on my battery. Put your key in. You return. Oh, we got power and we've got 12.8 volts as you can see. We got lights all underneath. That'll be light at night. Got them under there. We'll get it's a good charging station. Just got a solar light going. I got this big old thing bolted down. Got some natural light. I was gonna bore you like hot Anheuser Bush, but I don't like anything else. And so it's still real smoky. We got logs going out. That's gonna go all night. Yeah, it'll go all night. So this was a four by six trailer that I started modifying. I gotta do something about this probably Monday and put a gate on the back where I can put my wood back here LED lights put some RV jacks on it um, Once we go to 37s on that We're gonna go to 37s on that. I'll, I'll swap leaf springs to Jeep Cherokee Springs And I'll get it up Probably put a u-joint for a coupler The Jeep ain't changed much. I don't think we've done anything to it yet. Maybe that ARB Twin Air, it's under the passenger seat. But, so this was a four by six that a buddy had, didn't want it, was trash. It had little 13 inch tires on it. I bought some cheap 15 inch trailer tires off of Amazon. I think I got two of them for like 90 bucks. I wheeled in supports underneath it put a plywood sides on. I did a, sprayed it in Herculiner. I don't know if you can see the texture. 
right in Herculiner. That's a Tough Stuff Overland rack we had on the Gladiator. I bolted the cooler down, built this, added it on for front for just the cooler. Made it a little, little too big. Did the hitch, extended the front of it to where uh, I could completely jackknife the Jeep pretty much. Added a handle there, a two inch ball, it had a one seven eighths coupler. Kurt, weld on, you can take that completely off. Battery box, with the battery switch on the front. Um, there's plenty of rock lights underneath it, you'll see tonight. Um, there's lights underneath here, you can see right there. I'm wired up to where I'll have the tent on a switch. But the tent's on the switch yet, we gotta plug it into our outlet here. 12.8 12 bolt, bolts um, I welded heavy duty D rings all over it to strap stuff down I did the cool cooled uh, cables for the safety chains working out pretty good I got a solar panel to charge the battery or you can just hook it up right there for a uh, battery tender Cooking a couple hot dogs before we start the tacos. Oh, they're gonna be delicious right there. Perfectly roasted. Good thing I took that cooking lesson on hot dogs. Here we are about to get our tacos fired up. We're just gonna kind of wrap our uh, hard shells in aluminum foil and set them on top of this pan. And just for the hell of it, kind of crisp them up a little bit. We're gonna do all of our real quick in this one. We uh, weren't really super prepared. Here we got our meat brown. Gonna get a little, a little oil out. Turn it down low and let's suck it up. Crazy little paper towel. Getting a lot of it. We'll let it get some more. Lose it. We'll dispose of it in the fire. And here's a little, a little of that Uncle Ben's rice. Put it right down in it. Work wonders. Break it up and get down to the meat. Let that sit for a second. We'll add our water and taco seasoning. Now hit it with some taco seasoning. Pour a little water on there. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Keep going. All right. And we just mix it up. It's quite a bit of water, but a lot of it will cook out. And a lot of it in the seasoning is going to absorb up in that rice. Make it even better. Flipping our tortillas, got that burner on low, just kind of cooking them up right. It'll be delicious. That's, that's about enough for the dog. We're gonna let the dogs cool off. He loves tacos. He's a taco dog. Every Tuesday night, we get Taco Tuesdays, and he gets a taco. She's even putting cheese on it for him. Oh my goodness. It's got to cool off. It's got to cool off, Diesel. It's hot. We'll let it cool off and then you can have it, okay? Now it's time for us to eat. And then you can eat. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Really, no, it's really not that big of a deal. You're going to eat yours here in a little bit. 
Here's our tortillas. We had going. You know we got that sour cream loaded up. Oh my gosh, she's going for three tonight. Hungry. Oh. <laughs> These are not yours. Mm. All the water is gone. gonna be delicious. Diesel, yours are cooling down, buddy. Tacos while camping are probably the best thing to do. Easiest, easiest faux show. What is that in there? Oh, that's that grease we had in there. The table on the back of the Jeep. That's the shit right there. Got that Mexican cheese. Oh yeah. Got some of that hot sauce over there too. Are you crying? Uh. Your food's cooling down. No, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not that. It's really not that big of a deal, buddy. And she's gonna go for some Texas Pete. I'm gonna hit that that scorpion pepper sauce. Be delicious. So we have leftovers. I bet you can't guess where they go. I look making them some nachos. A little cheese on it. You want cheese? Diesel, you want cheese? Oh, oh you do? Okay. A little bit of cheese on it. There you go. Oh, my lanta. That's where our extras go. We'll clean that up or let the bears eat it tonight. I don't know. <clears throat> Fire's still prime. Here's the trailer. Got lights all around. It's not dark yet, so you really can't tell a lot yet. But it's lit up all under it. Lit up under here, and we're still at. Now you can't see it, 12.4 volts. So we dropped 0.4 volts after charging everything. I'll take it. Fire's glowing, but it ain't even dark yet. It's getting there though. It's like 10.30. I gotta pick some cans up out of the fire. But it did burn all night. So here we go. It's a good night. We got breakfast going, a little bit of sausages, some eggs and cheese. That's the egg beaters comes in the carton. It's a little too much for two people, about half a carton. <clears throat> Fire went all night. That uh that was the top log. You can see it burnt all the way down to that. Good trip, we're gonna get this thing loaded up. Head back to town. Also, I don't. If y'all like hot sauce, this Woodstock scorpion pepper sauce, pretty damn good. It's not super hot. It says it's like extreme hot, but it's not bad. But it's got a good flavor to it for being as cheap as it is. It, yeah, she she prefers the Texas Peter. Diesel's doing his morning rituals. Well, that's it for this video. We're going to go. Peace out.